Welcome to the insane world of Child Trumper Nunu, a master tier Smite Nunu support player who not only has a completely new way of playing the game, but also has a PowerPoint presentation to send to his teammates in Champ Select. You might be thinking, is this just a random Nunu support? Well this Nunu has a plan A, a plan B, and even a plan C for every situation he gets into. Invading at level 1, sneaking around the enemy jungler, and eating his camps right in front of him. This is a proven to work, game changing strategy strategy that even Riot don't know about. But there is a lot that doesn't make sense, like how does he evolve his jungle item as a support? And since he can't buy a support item, how can his team win without wards? In this video we're going to answer all of that, as our Nunu is always 5 steps ahead. Even stats websites don't understand what he's doing, putting him as the number one Nunu jungle on his server, even though he doesn't play the role. But first, this video is sponsored by Final Fantasy XIV Online, one of the biggest MMOs with over 1.6 million daily players. And and the best thing is, you can play it completely for free up to level 60, with no restrictions on game time, letting you play hundreds of hours of the full game to see if you like it before you have to spend anything. The art and character customization in this game is incredible, and it has absolutely no pay to win microtransactions. And now there is also a new expansion named Endwalker, making it a great time to get started. Travel through the early levels and experience all the years of content and deep stories developers have added. To sign up for free, click the link in the description, create an account and install the free Free trial. And while you're waiting for it to download, why not check out the super well made new player guide? If you want a whole new world to explore full of quests, fantasy jobs, and unique stories, then download Final Fantasy XIV online now at my link in the description. Welcome to Your Guide to Nunu Support, the presentation our player links in every champ select to show his team he isn't trolling. Okay, only a little. First, he explains his general job not being in lane, stealing enemy jungle camps, and wasting the enemy's time. He tells his AD carry about good champions to fit with his pick, and even that thanks to solo XP they'll be stronger than they usually are. But let's take a step back, why is he playing Smite Nunu support? It began in patch 12.22, where Nunu's Q was buffed to deal higher flat damage. This may not seem that useful, however our player noticed that with the new jungle item and his Q buff, he can now practically one shot the enemy's big raptor. This fits support perfectly, no matter what path the enemy jungler did, he could run in, yoink their raptor and even stay to get level 2. But this was only the beginning with him inventing another plan of stealing wolves, taking blue buffs, and even gromp right in front of the enemy's face. Before this pick he was just a diamond jungler, and now he is a master tier support player. It was time to invade. This is plan A, his goal every game. He starts the blue jungle item and warding totem, running straight to the enemy blue buff. His goal is just to get a ward on it and then back off, basing to buy a sweeper. He runs back out and waits inside this bush until he sees the buff spawn, and then he goes for a solo invade. He walks to the enemy wolves, blast coning over. He can quickly solo wolves without using smite, just using two Qs and auto attacks. He gets level 2 and leaves the small ones up. If the enemy jungler isn't around, he can then curve a snowball round to blue buff, soloing that with a smite Q combo to safely secure it. His goal now is to get out as soon as possible. If enemies have caught on, he often just flashes over this wall to avoid getting caught. His job is now done, he's put the enemy jungler behind. From there he groups up with his own jungler, and now his job is to speed up their clear. This strategy is not just meant to put the enemies behind, but also to hyper speed your jungler through their clear, full clearing faster than it should be possible, and using that speed to surprise gank bot lane. For this reason, he always tells his jungler to start topside and path towards bot, as this makes it easier for Nunu to catch up to him and join the clear. In this meta, bot lane needs to win to win the game, so with your jungler being level 4 extra early, and on top of this your AD carry also getting double XP, with Nunu keeping up just fine from enemy jungle XP, your 3 man gank will easily overpower the normal level enemy bot lane to get easy early kills. This all sounds great, but there are two big flaws in this strategy, and that is why we have plan B and plan C. The first flaw, what if the enemy jungler starts on blue? This is where the ward becomes super important. The plan is the exact same, with Nunu stealing wolves sneakily, and then as the enemy jungler is moving on to Gromp, Nunu starts a snowball to catch them instead. Nunu still has Q plus smite to steal this camp, and being full health he simply just walks out after taking it. The other flaw is much worse, what if he can't invade or he gets spotted? Well this is where plan C begins. Remember 
Remember earlier where he discovered he can one-shot the enemy raptor with Q-Smite? Well this is his backup plan. If he can't get to blue, he instead invades red with Sweeper, autoing the camp a couple of times and then Q-Smiting, also taking a couple of the small raptors to make sure he gets level 2. He can then instead move on to the enemy red buff as they're busy full glaring their bot side. A new news clear with Q and the jungle item is too fast to stop. He really doesn't mind invading topside as there are less people who can easily collapse onto you. After each of these plans, again his goal is to group up with his jungler and speed them up. Always with the goal of ganking bot lane together. A lot of people believe that he is weak siding or even abandoning his AD carry with this strategy. However, in his opinion, it's actually the opposite. Instead of just having a support, it's more like having two junglers who are both fully focused on helping your lane. If he left lane and never returned, sure that would be terrible for his AD carry. But with ganks coming in every couple of minutes and constant threat on the enemy bot laners, it's actually increasing the help your AD carry gets compared to normal, even making sure your jungler will have even more opportunities to gank bot lane, as with Nunu not being there, they'll be baited into overextending and trying to dive your AD carry. So Nunu returns bot lane to get the free kills and protect against this dive. Ganking top or mid lane isn't bad either, especially level 2, right after you take an enemy camp. People often don't expect this even when you're playing jungle, so on support it's even more unexpected. The major benefit of this strategy is that every gank you do will have two junglers coming from different angles, and these make it almost impossible to escape. Even if Nunu misses his snowball, it just pushes the enemy into his other teammate's CC, leading to an impossible to escape situation. One thing our Nunu never misses is taking Scuttle Crab every time it spawns. The speed up it gives him is game changing for his ganks. He retains this speed during his snowball, which means it extends the range he can go, doing some crazy plays like reaching all the way into the enemy jungle, curving around and setting up a kill. Nunu support can also solo dragons from level 3, thanks to Smite and his jungle item. This is a support who can guarantee you objectives just a few minutes into the game, and that alone is completely broken. He often saves up two smite charges to let him take it faster, just spamming his Q to DPS the objective. Funnily, all of the changes Riot have made recently to nerf jungle don't affect this strategy whatsoever. He always falls behind in levels early on, as he's focused on denying things from the enemy, but this just means he'll always get full XP from everything else. Usually Riot limits the lane minion XP for junglers who are ahead to make sure they don't get even further ahead, but if you're under leveled then Nunu can happily collect XP from anywhere with no drawback. After early game, the goal of Smite Nunu support is to use all of your utility and presence on the map to tilt enemies and at the same time get leads for your team. You do the jobs nobody else wants to, but are crucial for winning the game. And unlike a normal jungler, the leads he gets are a bit more permanent. As he never has to go back to farming his jungle, he can stay out ganking for as long as he needs. This is why the playstyle is so good, if you get ahead early the game is over. You can be super mobile and active, so any comeback play the enemies try to make, Nunu's going to show up and stop it from working. He just wants to rinse and repeat, gank bot lane, gank bot lane and gank it again, always with your jungler. Since Nunu is probably a lower level, he never ganks a duo lane by himself, as that's an easy way to throw your lead. One huge misconception of picks like this in support or even smite top laners is that you have to get fed or get lots of kills for your team for this strategy to work. However, really, your job is to change the flow of the game and reallocate resources. Getting kills is just a bonus. For example, against farming junglers, if Nunu steals a camp then that's going to reduce their power every time he does it. Every gank Nunu does against a laner reduces their ability to get CS and stay even in lane, maybe even pushing them out of the lane and getting his teammate a tower plate. Every objective he secures is an extra win condition for his team, and even the acceleration of his jungler's clear speed will throw off the enemy's normal game plan and give his team an easier time of winning. Once you perfect a strategy like this, enemies are going to have to make the correct decision at every single part of the game if they want to win, whereas Nunu only has to waste their time and disrupt them. And some enemies don't even get to make a decision before they lose, especially enemy AD carries who are forced into a farm only lane as the risk of overextending is too high. This player has done practically nothing all game, meanwhile his team are so tilted they decide to just surrender. Nunu keeps up the pressure, being at every objective as soon as it spawns. Pressure is the most difficult thing in League to deal with, because when you apply it on an enemy, they have to think quickly and adapt, and that can lead to mistakes. Which is especially useful when you can't be outsmited at any point thanks to your Q-Smite combo. And even if enemies decide the correct play is committing onto you, Nunu also has Phase Rush. So often when he gets collapsed on, he can slow the enemy and just run out. But let's address the two other big issues with this pick. The jungle item. Often he doesn't get the upgrade, as he's not farming.
farming that much. His focus is on getting his teammates ahead enough and the enemy jungler behind enough that the game is won. If you don't get the upgrade, it's not a deal breaker for this pick. Sure, it would be useful, but with double smite on your team anyway and Nunu Q dealing 1200 damage to objectives, this extra evolution wouldn't help that much. Sometimes he does get the upgrade by taking camps from the enemy jungler consistently as well as the scuttle crabs, but even if you just delay the enemy jungler getting their evolution, that's quite a big deal. The other and much larger the larger problem is that with jungle item and smite, you're not allowed to buy a support item, so Nunu's income is fully based on how well he steals camps and makes plays. But more importantly than income, since he doesn't have a support item, that means no wards. For some players, this would be an instant deal breaker, but our player thinks of it differently. Instead of spending his time focusing on getting vision, he adapts, taking sweeper and zombie ward, spending a lot of his time denying vision, and at the same time creating vision for his team with this rune, so he wants to make sure at minimum enemies don't have good vision either. He heavily values vision plants when setting up for objectives, as they are practically as good as just being a good support. Instead of setting up wards a minute ahead, you can just hit a good vision plant and get full vision of the area and see all of the wards you need to clear to get a zombie ward. Luckily Riot have really reduced the importance of having wards by quite a lot. He can still also buy control wards, as can his teammates, so any important objective or bush can be fully controlled. It gets pretty bad if you're really far behind, as having no vision is pretty much a death sentence. But if you're really far behind on this pick, then you'd probably lose anyway, even if you had really good vision. So in his opinion, for the games he loses due to not having enough wards, he probably would have lost those games anyway. Late game, the burden of carrying is now on your teammates. Nunu has a tanky frontline build that lets him bait people in and set up kills, but your teammates are the ones doing the damage. There's one exception to that, a Baron, where Nunu has his double smite and thousand damage Q on a 6 second cooldown, letting them burn through it even at 20 minutes. The best counter to this strategy is picking champions that are really good early game, so our Nunu bans Blitzcrank or Draven as they can easily control bot lane early on. Here are all of the strong AD carries from his tier list to go with it, and also the best junglers to match with it as well. You always want to make sure you have good DPS on your team, so that if Nunu gets them fed, they will carry him. But the biggest counter to smite Nunu support is really teamwork. If you can work together and shut him down, it'll be way less effective. Unfortunately, teamwork is the one thing that solo queue players can never ever reliably have. Pings and text chat are pretty much useless when the strategy is this complex. On the other hand, this strategy is really good for becoming a better player, as you're basically playing multiple roles at once. The peak skill level of this pick is quite possibly infinite, but remember you do need really good decision making for it to work. So while the ceiling may be infinite, so is the amount of LP a bad new new support can lose. His build is quite standard considering how weird this strategy is. For lower elos he recommends a full AP build. If you're good at Nunu then this build will let you carry, but in higher elo he is fully utility focused as that's the best way for him to win. He goes blue jungle item for the speed up, buying boots early on for more roaming, radiant virtue as his mythic, into full tank depending on the enemy team comp. His runes are this phase rush full speed page for positioning around the map, taking every speed boost he can find. Our Nunu streams these chaotic games on Twitch, link in the description, and please check out the sponsor as well, link below. Thanks so much for watching.